Hey, fans of Farm Life. Uh, today, we are going to install this uh, wired vehicle sensor uh, because our other one, our wireless one, which was right here at this gray post, there was a transmitter on that, and the dog grabbed it, destroyed the transmitter, and uh, you cannot buy just a transmitter. So, I got some of this stuff all out of the way. I dug a little trench, uh, about 50 feet, so I think that's what our cord was. I laid it all out. And uh, I didn't want to bore you with digging a trench. You can see all the rocks in here. You can see all the big rocks. Comes all the way down to here. And it's going to get wired into our box right here. So I dug it all out yesterday. And uh, I dug all of this portion out with that little trenching shovel. And then this deeper area that the sensor goes into, I dug out, got, a, got our my post hole digger and dug that out. They also got some conduit, which you don't need. Uh, the wire is direct berry wire, but I figured this would be, since it's not going to be very deep, protect a little bit. So anyway, we're going to come back later and uh, try to start getting this stuff hooked up. Alrighty, fans of Farm Life. In this sensor box, which I've already opened up, is the sensor and the cable. And we got also some uh, connectors. Oh, that's not one of these good. Um, for different options for uh, hooking this up. Because yeah, you got all your wires there. Alright. And you have your instructions. And uh, I don't know what these are. These some signs that say warning. Yeah. So, anyway, you also need your actual installation instructions for your gate opener. I have the MM371W because there are other options in here as far as hooking it up. Back in here, your circuit board, this kind of thing right here. So, uh, I kind of try to walk through where I put everything, how I hook it up. So I just wanted to, you know, what comes in here, and uh, we're just going to kind of string it out, hook it up, make sure it works, and then we'll run it through the conduit and all that stuff. So we'll come back for the next step, laying it out. All righty, fans of Farm Life. Okay, this is uh, my circuit board, and uh, looks like I got some bugs living in there. So on my instruction manual. It has the sensor right here, and it has all of the wires, the blue, the black, the red, the yellow, and the shielded wire that comes out of there. And my diagram tells you to go up and hook these things into certain uh, things on the circuit board. So all of mine kind of line up. I have auxiliary here, and I have the comms there. So that's what I'm going to hook up to. Uh, there was some uh, instructions in the uh, in the instructions that came with the sensor. It talks about hooking stuff up to the battery, but I don't believe I have to do that. And it also talks about uh, um, jumping some things together with a wire and make sure it opens, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go directly with this. I will turn it off first. There's a power button right here. Mainly because I want to get, I think that's a spider right there. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get it all laid out. And uh, we'll come back. And uh, we'll see how this works. Alrighty, fans, farm life. Okay, I just have the cord stretched out. Uh, I will bear, put it in the PVC piping. But I want to make sure everything works. Got it run down here. Got the sensor in. Now the sensor is supposed to be a foot deep. 
and about two feet from the driveway. So the driveway's right here, it's about two feet, and that is a foot deep. Uh, it's kind of where our other one, I think our other one is probably right here somewhere where my feet are. But anyway, so got it all laid out, all stretched out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try to hook this up and see what it looks like here. All right, so if you guys bought the Mighty Mule gate, it came with this screwdriver. Hopefully you saved it because it fits in there. And then here's our, our wires, our uh, shielded wire, our yellow wire, oops, shielded wire, our yellow wire, our red wire, our black wire, and our blue wire. And when you follow this diagram up, they just all go into certain things. So that's where we're going to hook them up to. And uh, so this camera probably, I'm going to turn this off, see if I can get this camera situated. So you might be able to see a little bit. Plus, I need to see what's going on too. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll just kind of tell you what I'm doing here. So the shielded wire, shielded wire, look at my diagram, says it goes into one of these auxiliary which I have the auxiliary right here, it says it goes right in here. So let's screw this a little bit. Try to get that stuck in there. Can't remember where it all goes here. fans farm life uh, looks like I I got it figured out now with this clamping system I uh, can't see with my glasses matter of fact so I've got the yellow and I've got the braided in and uh, I'm gonna have to come up with a new hole here I think I can break another one in or something uh, so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and with the blue, the black, and the red now that I got it figured out. And uh can't use my glasses. I'm gonna I know this doesn't focus in very good, but if you're gonna do this, you have to look kind of carefully at how these wires go in. It's just like a little clamp system. You uh loosen these all the way up here. These are all loose anyway, and then you stick your wire right in here between the screw and there's a little clamp in there it's hard to see uh, but uh, that's how you get these you probably already know because you had to put these in for your gate so it's pretty self-explanatory but uh, when you have old eyes it's hard to see so we're gonna get all of these back in and then I'll come back and explain what what uh, slots I have them in Alrighty, fans farm less. So going by my drawing, the shielded one, you follow this line all the way up, all the way into here. Shielded goes into auxiliary minus. So I got my shielded one in auxiliary minus. The yellow, follow it all the way up, goes into auxiliary plus. This yellow is in auxiliary plus. The red and the black go together, and they go into Calm, which is this calm right here and then the blue comes out and goes into exit right here blue goes into exit so and the blue is in exit right there so they're all hooked up I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on and I'm gonna get my car down here and we'll see what happens alrighty fans farm life so that did not work. Um, so we're gonna go back to the drawing board on this. And, uh, whoops. Go back to the drawing board and uh, see what's not working here. So we'll be back. Alrighty, Fans Farm Life. I haven't tested it, but I think I know where it went wrong. You gotta kind of use both instructions together in a way. This is the uh, instructions that came with the wand because uh, 
the wand has you hooking up the uh, wires directly to the battery but this has an auxiliary voltage that's what the yellow and the red are going into so I kind of was looking at this diagram thinking the black and the red were together and then I thought oh what, the yellow and the red are together but looking at the other instructions the red is by itself the yellow and the braided go together the blue and the black so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on and we're gonna go give it another shot all righty fans of farm life well that worked so uh, I guess if you uh, can in interpret the instructions um, it would have worked the first time so I'm gonna disconnect everything and turn it off disconnect everything I'm gonna run the uh, conduit through here and we'll give it another test and then uh, then after that we will uh, I'll fill in the trench and we should be good to go farm life all right hands farm left a small tip so I have the uh, conduit and I have the uh, sensor wire I tried to just since it is kind of stiff I thought I could just get it to go through the conduit but it was getting about three quarters away so I just took some baling wire it's a little stiffer and just taped it onto there and I just pulled it through making sure I don't damage these cables these cables right here so anyway just a small little tip if you uh, are going to run it through conduit you want something a little stiffer than that wire uh, baling wire any thicker wire would work but I just happen to have some baling wire all my fun Alrighty fans farm life. So we got all the conduit in and uh, I'll just tell you it was more of a hassle running the wire down there. Not really that bad except for the bendable. Uh, I probably could have cut it just a little bit shorter. Everything's hooked up. I'm going to go grab the car and uh, see if it works. Oh my God. Depends farm life so that was a success uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bury everything back in and uh, I'll uh, it should work I mean it just worked so I think we're good I'll bury it up we'll take one more run uh, make sure everything's good only thing that would be needed to be unburied would be the sensor so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and Put all the dirt back in, put the grass back on top, and uh, we'll come back for one final wrap up. Alrighty, fans, farm life. So I got the grass back on, dirt back in. Hopefully, all this grows. It should. Might get brown, but it'll all grow. Got it all back in, and uh, I even uh, when I was putting the dirt in, just stepping on the sensor made it work. I got the uh, flexible tubing a little bit better in there so I just want to recap on the, uh, the wiring portion of this and 
just remember the yellow the yellow and the stranded wires go in a uh, voltage negative the red voltage plus the black in the second calm and then the uh, blue on the exit if you've got a panel that looks like this um, the instructions in the for the sensor itself had you hooking up the yellow and the stranded wire directly to the battery and the red directly to the battery and then the blue the black and the blue into the comms and exit so uh, just check your uh, circuit board if it looks like this this is the uh, configuration and uh, that will be a wrap on the wired uh, gate sensor the dog hopefully will not come down here and chew any of this stuff up so uh, if you have questions uh, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll leave a link to the wireless sensor in the comments below like and subscribe and thank you very much farm life out